Are you with him or are you against him? Have your say on 020 38 29 1234. Right, let's move on. The deaths of three cats in Hampshire are now being linked to the so called Croydon cat killer. Thought to have killed, this is an incredible number, 230 cats in the Greater London area. A cat was found decapitated in South Sea in Portsmouth on Sunday, two weeks after another one was found killed in the same area. Whilst back in July, a cat was found killed on the Isle of Wight. Now, do you remember we spoke to Bodicea Rising, co-founder of South Norwood Animal Rescue and Liberty, some months back, when the killer or killers seemed limited just to the London area. But now it looks like this foul murder spree is spreading. I'm delighted to say Bodice here joins us again now. Hello. Hiya, John. I can't believe this is actually still going on and we're, we're now up to 230. Surely now we must have a, a very good profile of who this savage is. Um, yeah, the, the difficulty is he's, he's attacking across a wide area. He's attacking, we know he's all forensically aware because we're not picking up any forensics. Um, we know that he is making sure, I'm sure he's checking CCTV because he's attacked in areas where just out of range of CCTV, um, where we think, oh, goody, we've got something, and, and, and the camera doesn't stretch that far. Um, we, you know, and he's obviously, we, he's, he's attacks are quite sporadic. Um, so that, that we can't chop and see and say, oh, well, you know, he's, he's attacked I don't know, three towns in Portsmouth, is the, what is the likelihood of them attacking again? And because the area is so vast, you can't patrol it. No. But are we, um, sure, so, are, are we sure it's just one man or one woman or a couple of people? I mean, is the modus operandum the same? I don't want you to tell, exactly tell me. Same. But is it the same on yeah. all of them? It is the same on all of them, yeah. Um, the common things I can, I can tell you is that he always displays them, okay? He displays them near the owner's home. But he doesn't always get that right. And when we speak to owners and say, you know, where did your cat spend the majority of its time? It'll be in the place that the body was placed. So we, we think he's, he's opportunistic. So we don't think there's a lot of planning that goes in, apart from checking for CCTV and, and attacking in hours when people are asleep. But we think he is he is just simply perhaps driving past, seeing a pretty cat and uh, and picking it up. And then he places the body back where the, where, where the cat was found, basically. Where, where, where he can create, create, I guess, maximum grief, yeah. maximum horror. Absolutely. And we've also found that in some instances he's he's um, placing, like, if he takes the head off a cat, he's placing the head sometimes nearby or in a, in a neighbour's garden. So we had an attack in um, North Cheam a couple of weeks ago. I left the, the cat body on the pavement um, and the tail popped up at a plant pot um, in a house around the corner about four days later. And what about the police? What are they saying? Well, they are they are doing in London and Surrey. They're doing an excellent job. So the protocol is, when if, if we get a call to one of these, we call the police. We have a look at it. Um, we look at look at the seat whether we need a seat of the crime officer. And if I ring and say I need one, I get one. In Hampshire, unfortunately, they were completely dismissive this weekend, and they've had to learn an awful lesson um, because we had to send a rocket up them, and the, the DS had to send a rocket up them. Um, because they did not attend. And in fact, the first two people who rang after seeing um, Coppy's body on the pavement were told to call the council. Um, they were completely different. They've now changed their tune. They realised the seriousness of this. And um, they, they basically picked up the ball. But uh, we had a real battle this weekend. We had a similar battle with Kent Police because he didn't just uh, strike in Portsmouth this weekend. He also struck in Hen Bay and in, at Catton Chatham. And Kent Police have now attended Chatham they didn't at the time, and they did not attend Hern Bay with us. So for some police, it's a learning curve. I cannot fault the Met, though. Um, I'm probably the only, well, certainly now, probably the only civilians you can ring up the police and say we need a scene to crap off soon, we get one. Um, so in terms of the investigation, it, it is, it's a massive investigation. There's, because there are so many scenes and because he's killing prolifically, it's actually quite difficult to keep up. For us. I understand. No disrespect to the cats and people who are losing the cats, but he's also, isn't he, he's terrifying humans because humans Absolutely. let the cats out at night or whatever, and there must be many, many people, not just older people, but loads of people, little kids who, who are, are yeah. being terrified by this monster because it might be their cat next. I mean, 
This man who's is a man has to be stopped and as soon as possible. Yeah. And this is why we're asking people to, to do a number of things. So on our Facebook page is a poster yeah. um, and a leaflet. Yeah. That's got the protocol in for what to do if you find a body, what to do if you see someone behaving suspiciously, and what to do if you see somebody um, misbehaving with a cat and hurting it. And it's quite simple. If you find a body or body parts, you call us and you call the police, okay? If you see somebody behaving suspiciously, you call it into 101 and get a reference number and send it to us. If you see somebody misbehaving with a cat hurting it, it's a 999 call. Even though, it, you know, you, you may feel a bit embarrassed, you 999 it. Um, and also, once you've done that, you ring us and we'll make sure that you get police response. All right, now, now tell people where they find you then on Facebook and exactly what is the name of your group, because we've got to get right, this done. We're South Nord Animal Rescue and Liberty, um, also known as SNARL, S-N-A-R-L, so that's Sierra <laughs> November, right. Alpha, Romeo, Lima. I like <laughs> no. that, SNARL. That's very yeah. good. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're on Facebook. We've got a big Facebook page. Um, updates are posted there. All the latest information and news is posted there. Um, and there's also, obviously, we do things like memorial posts. We've just done a memorial post for Poppy's family on that page. Um, so if people want to express their condolences towards the owners, there's, there's generally a place you can do that on that page. Okay. And I think that's important as well. Supporting owners through this has been, it's been a crucial job for us um, because, as you, as you mentioned, it's so distressing for them. I just remember... Um, where they have children. I just remember yeah. my Bethany, we, we couldn't find a cat one day and it was that awful thing of looking down the road and then no. she found it in the back garden and... It was just horrendous, and, you know, somebody oh, looked no. it over and put it there. Even that oh, was God. horrendous. So for somebody to brutalise somebody's cat, uh, I can't even begin to think where you'd start and how you'd talk to your child and how you'd rationalise it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna catch this bastard. Let me, excuse sorry for using that word. We are going to catch him. We are going to catch him. Yep. And we're going to work together. So as Bodicea Rising, co-founder, South Norwood Animal Rescue and Liberty, Snarl. Find it on Facebook, bookmark it, and if you can help, please do so. Bodicea, I hope I never speak to you again, and I mean that in the most positive way. Uh, <laughs> let's hope we find this man. Lovely Agreed. talking to you, sweetheart. Cheers. John, thank you so much. Any Take time. care. Bye-bye. Bodicea Bye Rising. Huh? Breaks your heart, doesn't it? I mean, how would... Well, why? Why? Is all I can say. John, I'm now more convinced you are right that we're being conned.